Hi and welcome to Kiwi Deck. Today we're going to route our Xperia Z Ultra. This is running 14.2.a.1.136 firmware. This is the latest firmware. So we're going to install dual recovery and then route our device. So let's get to it. Okay, so in the description I have superuser.zip, I have the kernel with dual recovery, and I also have the FTF firmware, which is the latest firmware you can flash. If you're already running this firmware, you don't need to do that. You just need to flash the kernel with dual recovery, and then flash superuser.zip. So first of all, I'm going to hold down my volume down button, plug my USB into my computer, and this is my Mac in this case and that will boot into flash mode, which means I can flash the latest firmware onto the smartphone. So as you can see on the desktop, I have the FTF, which is the firmware, I have the kernel, and then I have superuser.zip. So you will need to put superuser.zip onto your internal or external SD card. I've already done that. Um, so now I'm gonna open flash tool. You can see it says my device is not connected. So I'm gonna plug that in now. And now you can see it is connected in flash mode. If it doesn't say that, you'll need to make sure that you unplug your device and make sure you hold down volume down. So flash mode. I need to try and find the location of my firmware. And it's on my desktop. Now if you already are running the latest firmware, you don't need to do this step. You just skip this and go straight to the kernel, which we'll, I'll do later on in this video. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to update to 136, which is the latest firmware. This particular firmware that I've got is um, the US firmware. There are a couple out there, and it doesn't really matter which country you flash them from. They're all identical. They may come with uh, various different types of software included, but they're all the same base. Now, when it says preparing the software, uh, your device may just boot randomly. Now, what you need to do is unplug it, turn your device off, hold down volume down, and put it in flash mode again. You won't need to run the process all over again because it does take a while. So you can see my device suddenly just powered itself back up. So I need to unplug it and it'll probably come up with a little dialog box saying my smartphone isn't in, yeah, there you go. So my smartphone isn't in flash mode. And as soon as I hold down volume down and I plug in my smartphone into my laptop, it'll come up and start flashing straight away. Okay, and there it goes. So this takes a while, it may take up to 10 minutes, so I'm just going to fast forward this really quickly. And once it's done this, we're then going to want to flash the kernel. So once it is finished, and once it says we can power on our device, we don't want to do that. We just want to unplug it, hold down the volume up button, and then plug it straight back in. And when it's done that, we're going to then want to select fast boot mode, and that's just going to flash the kernel. Okay, so that's done. Now I'm going to hold the volume up button and you'll see it'll come up and say phone detected in fast boot mode. Now when it's done that, we click the flash button, say fast boot mode, click on the kernel, find where I've put the kernel and I'll put it on my desktop and then I select image because that's the format that it's in and then I select flash and that's it. If I click on the cancel button, you can see that it says it said that it was successful writing to my smartphone and now I can reboot it. So I want to reboot into recovery. So I'm going to power it on. And then as soon as this light shines up, pink, or there you go, hold down volume down or volume up. And I'm going to hold volume down. So I'm going to get into team win recovery. I'm going to install, select external storage because that's where I've put my superuser.zip. Select OK. Scroll right down because it'll be under S. And it'll be a file, it's my last file, there we go. And I swipe across to install superuser.zip. And that's it, I will now have root. So I'm going to reboot it, and I'll show you it going into superuser.zip. Right, so that's the flash up animation screen. You'll see Android will say updating software because I have a new application. I'll unlock it and go into my app tray. and scroll across and to the last page we'll see superuser. There we go. And that's it. That's uh, the latest firmware with recovery and root. So this has been Kiwi Tech. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.